I'm Leela, and this is Leela Talks, where we talk about black culture, nerd culture, movies, and whatever else is going on in the news. Let's discuss. From <laughs> What the f***? <laughs> what have I heard? Fight me! What am I doing two bullets, Steve? See, I'm getting there. I just gotta learn by dying like this. First. So, let's talk movies. I recently saw The Nun, and I promise I won't be spoilery, but I loved it. If you're into the Conjuring universe, you already know what you were getting into. This is the origin of evil story, so it focused only on the nun. It didn't really give you too many things about the other stuff in the universe, though it did show strong ties and let you understand how the progress started. I enjoy myself. The predictable jump scares did kind of blow me at times and take you out of the experience, but I did scream. I did laugh. There was a good time had. My only question though, characters, characters, why are you always chasing after people? They grown. Like I feel like if you are with me and we're in some spooky castle or we go in a cave or we're in somebody's house and they haunted or something like that, if we together and you go running off, you signed your death note right there. Bye. I'm not chasing after you. And especially if you walk in a room and I'm like, oh, so-and-so, and you go take it off. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Is that mean? Am I mean for that? I feel like I might be mean, but it's okay. You know, mean people are people too. I saw some complaint saying that there was no direct tie to Annabelle, but this movie was supposed to focus on the nun, and it did. The next movie will probably tell you how they got from that spot to the next spot. It's a, it's a universe. You have to allow them to slowly unfold the story. The good horror films focus on the details because it's the details that get you. Anyway, I would definitely recommend that you see The Nun. All right, let's get into movies I'm psyched about. So I saw Overlord's trailer that was wicked. It's basically Call of Duty zombie mode, the movie. It's done by J.J. Abrams. It seems to maybe have a black main, but there really isn't too much to go on. Um, the trailer just is to hype you up. There's there's no story that I know about. If you know anything or you got a detail when it's dropping, please hit me in the comments. Educate your girl, because I'm excited about that movie. It takes place in, I think, World War II. So, it's going to be war. And also zombies but they look well done and that's what's important like I said details everything goes around the details you can do great details you can get somebody captivated real fast I also saw Godzilla King of Monsters super excited about that it stars Miss Waffle herself Miss Millie Brownt from Stranger Things and it looks to be more well written and well rounded of a movie compared to the past Godzilla movies because I'm just trash. I saw some of my favorite monsters. We got Mothra, which I am terrified of moths <laughs> and bugs in general, but for some reason, because it's just so beautiful. It's a beautiful, terrifying creature, and I know if it touched me, I would die. Just like if a smaller moth touched me, I would die. These are scientific facts. I saw Halloween, which we already knew was coming coming out, but I'm very excited to see Jamie Lynn get her groove back. Gone girl. Okay, kill Michael. He coming up here with talk is mad time. I'ma kill you. Show up. Get the gun. Get the strap. Come for him, Jamie. Okay. <laughs> Am I too hype? Maybe I'm too hype. Now this isn't a movie. This is on Netflix. But Bojack Horseman season four is not scary, but you don't love Bojack Horseman. If you don't like watching that train wreck of a show, <laughs> it's a funny, horrible train wreck. It's like a mesh of just feeling sad and laughing at the same time. It's a perfect mood. <laughs> Aww. Also on Netflix, there's this animated show called Hilda, which is after a accredited graphic novel. Um, I know nothing about the novel, but the animation looks very, very, very cute. It's a little person named Hilda, and they seem to be in a world of mythical creatures, and I don't know much about it, but I want to get into it. It looked amazing. She has a black friend. Yay, black characters. We need more of them. 
people out there, give us more. So, I think I'm gonna be digging this show, and I think I might cosplay. The characters looked adorable. Also on Netflix, I want to talk about The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. They've taken our childhood show and turned it spoopy, and I'm so excited for it, because off the trailer, you already get a completely different vibe from it. There's demonic stuff, there's death, there's murder, there's blood, there's everything a girl needs. I mean, what? <laughs> I saw Salem. I saw her two aunts. Now, they didn't show the face of the aunt, so I don't know who's playing who. I haven't looked that up yet because I'm trying not to spoil it for myself. I kind of just want to see it and just let the nostalgia build up in me until I explode. They have my boy Salem. Now, I don't know if he's going to be talking in here, but I think they can make him talk without making it, like, silly like the last one. But if they don't, will I be heartbroken? I don't know. I guess we just have to wait and see. You can find all of the trailers that I've talked about on the Netflix and on the YouTubes. Look look around the, the wait here. There, yeah. That's all for Leela Talks today. If you have any questions, hit me up on Twitter at Leela Bobina. Find me on the internet. I'll be out there. Have a good day.